G ice maker. This is something to check for for a quick fix if your ice maker and your G fridge just uh, stops making ice. So open up, pull the tray, um, and back here you're going to see that you have a lever. When the lever's in, it stops making ice. When it's out, it tells it to keep making ice. As it fills up, it eventually pushes the lever back. Uh, pushes the lever back, tells it to stop making ice. Uh, there is a spring here, and what happens is sometimes the ice pops that spring out of a little hole, keeps tension, so you have to check and make sure that it's in there. As you can see with mine, I don't know if you can see, try to zoom in here, is I, it's hard to explain from this video, but basically you should see it uh, sticking into a hole at the end of that. So it's a little challenging, but you have to get that spring back and get tension so that when you push it in, this should always want to fly out. And when it flies out, it should be hitting ice if it's full, and it keeps it from making it. And when there's no ice there, it should just be, that's the on lever. So make sure you check that, because that's what's wrong with mine. And um, that's it. Um, another thing, just so you know, in case you're not aware, is if you turn off the ice maker, you're going to do a test here. And this is a, like a factory reset, and it will run through um, the ice making procedure and flip out whatever's in there. Um, so you turn it on, and after you turn it on, you flip this lever three times. One, two, three. When you do that, it should start to cycle through, and it will push out whatever's in there. Uh, that's how you know it's still working. So like I said, the quick fix... Oh, this is tough. quick fix is, as you can see, that little piece right there at the end of the spring. I don't know if you can see it. It should be, should be more in line with up in front here in a little hole. And, and there was a little ice I had to chip away, and then I see this little hole. So you got to bring that back to the thing so that there's tension back on the spring, and you should be okay. And this is going to take a little while for this to run through, but I hear it running through its cycle right now. And uh, that's how you reset. So good luck. I hope this helps a few people out there because I was, uh, my wife and I were giving up on the ice, and she was like, oh, maybe you can buy a new ice maker. And it comes down to a little spring pop out. Yeah, so I just wanted to uh, I got it in there. As you can see, you can see the difference now. Um, from what I was talking about, you see how the end of that spring is now up in there and you can actually see it. And this is what it should be doing. Now when it pushes in and you let go, it should be flying out like that. So the tension on this spring here, uh, when it flies out of this hole that's holding it, there's no tension on it anymore. And I hope that makes sense. I, I think it does. It makes sense to me and anybody who's messed with springs should understand that. But there's a little hole here, and I had ice I had to chip away and stuff like that. And you can see I'm sticking the end of that little tool in the hole. And, uh, yeah. So it took a little finesse. It wasn't very easy to get that back in there. A little needle nose pliers, and I got this. It's a dental tool I use for electronics when I work on electronics. And I just kind of worked my way and, and got it in there. It wasn't easy, but once I got it, my ice maker's backed up, and you can see... From that reset, it kicked out its ice that was stuck in there, and now I should have nice. My ice is working. Uh, cost zero money. Good luck, guys.